In the first season of the Amazon show Jack Ryan, there is a secondary story that weaves in and out of the show. It is that of the wife of the antagonist to the main character, Jack Ryan. It is, um, her name is Hanin. Without going into the specifics of the show, I will briefly tell you about Hanin's story. She is the mother of three who has come to the realization that the life that her husband leads and those he associates with are putting her life and that of her children at risk, especially that of her teenage daughter who, who is beginning to draw the attention of some of the house guests. So unbeknownst to her husband, she sought the help of her uncle for false IDs and passport for her and her children. She escapes from home uh, for she can't get a, she can't simply get a divorce. It's not acceptable in her culture as we understand it in the story. She embarks in this harrowing journey full of lies and deceits with her children, her and her children, of course, claiming to be who they are not in order to survive. Sometimes, friends, a lie is the best thing. That's a line, actually, from a Tracy Chapman song uh, on the album, Telling Stories. Um, the song is of the same name of the album. And I remember the first time I heard that line. What? Lying is not only okay, or lying doesn't just happen. Sometimes it can be the best thing in a situation. I became fascinated with that notion, and not because it was foreign to me, but because I feel that it openly named something that I had sensed all along. Most of us, yes, we have been indoctrinated with the belief that lying is simply wrong. We, we're taught that growing up. And then as we become adults, we teach the same to our children. We expect the truth in both our personal lives and in our professional lives. But it's not as simple as that, though, is it? We at least lie on a regular basis when you, when you think about it, right? We tell people, you look great today, when we don't necessarily think so. Or we say, I'll call you right back, when we're not even thinking of calling the person back. And even worse, the person doesn't even expect a call back. Yes, we say things we don't mean. In other words, we lie every day out of social etiquette. But that's not the kind of lie I'm talking about when I imply that sometimes a lie is the best thing. And I also understand how risky of an idea it is for me to say something like that in the days that we live in. We live um, and the days of um, fake news, um, post-truth politics, we hear those terms all the time on the news. So I do recognize the risk. And yes, I still say that there are times when a lie is the best thing. And I'm not talking about the times when we lie out of vanity, uh, times when we're not feeling brave enough to fess up and tell the truth, or when we simply want to get out of, a, of an embarrassing situation. Uh, those are not the type of lies I'm talking about. I am talking about life-saving situations, like that of, like the ones in Hanin's story. And you might be tempted to dismiss her because, of course, it's a story, and, and therefore it is expected to be 
a lie. It is a, a work of fiction. However, right, when you, when you stop and think about it, um, how different is a Nain situation from that of the many refugees who, um, who cross our borders every day fleeing very, very difficult and um, not just difficult, but a situation in their, in their um, homeland that threatened their lives and that of their, and their loved ones. And they come to our borders seeking asylum. But throughout their journeys, many of them have had to lie, have had to use fake IDs like Hanin or um, claim to be people that they're not. Those are the uh, people I'm talking about. Sometimes a lie can mean safe harbor, decent shelter, food. Harriet Tubman, the American abolitionist and uh, political activist. During a 10-year period at the height of slavery in the South, she made over 19 trips into uh, those territories and led over 300 enslaved people to Canada and out of slavery using the Underground Railroad. Hmm. Think about that. If not for the lies that Harriet Tubman told, think about how many lives that were saved because of those lies. And I wonder how many of those lies she had to tell or even embody for the Underground Railroad to be successful. And how many other people had to lie to law enforcement officer so that those slaves could live and be spared a life of torture and misery. Sometimes a lie can mean freedom. Oscar Schindler, German industrialist and who was also a member of the Nazi party, 1,200 Jewish lives. That's the number of lives that were saved or made better because of the lies he told and briberies he committed during World War II. Just imagine if he hadn't uttered those lies or took the actions that he, he took. Just imagine how many of those souls might have been led to uh, the gas chamber, um, being shot in the streets, or otherwise tortured? <laughs> Sometimes a lie can save a life. I read an article about Pope Francis recently in the National Catholic Register where he tells the story of how when he was a young priest, he saved the life of a young man, or at the very least, he saved him from um, being wrongly imprisoned by dressing the young man in priestly garbs and giving him the IDs of another priest that the young man resembled. Sometimes a lie can spare someone from a life of torture. Our fourth UU principle speaks to our responsibility to search for truth and meaning. It is an endeavoring, a striving for. I am on board with that. My friends, it ought to be that truth is where we put our efforts. Telling the truth, being truthful. It ought to be that that is where we put our efforts. But it ought not to be at the expense of another. It ought not to be at the expense of somebody else's well-being. 
I think it's interesting that we don't address truth and meaning until a fourth principle. I would offer that we use value life over truth. And when you put it that way, it makes perfect sense that that's how it should be. As a matter of fact, our first two principles speaks to the importance of life. The first one, of course, speaks to the worth and dignity of all lives, or more specifically, worth and dignity of each life. And the second principle speaks about justice, equity, and compassion in human relations. It does my soul good to see that my chosen faith understand this basic value, the value of a life, of a human life. Hmm. Our fictional character, Hanin, did survive her ordeal, as did her children. And thanks to the lies she told. Her story represents that of countless human beings whose lives were saved or spared because of a lie. My friends, may you always strive for truth. And may you always remember the value of a life, the importance of a life. Blessed be and amen.